Hey everyone. So I picked up, um, I was looking at a cooler because my old one uh, over there took kind of a, it got some hair stuck in it from my little furry ones. Uh, I have fuzzy tyrants I call Appa and Momo. But anyways, I went ahead and I picked up, after doing a lot of research, I was going to go with the other ones, which had the, uh, they suck in from the back and they blow down into the cavity here. But I decided instead that maybe I want to go with something to grab from underneath. And so I picked up this, the IETS GT500. And, you know, I just got done playing, so it's gone down. But this was sitting around under 40, and this was sitting around uh, in the 60s. And I just got done playing a whole bunch of virtual reality. And um, I've got to say, it, it works. And there's one of the things that helped clog my other one. This has a filter on the back, right here to keep things like the four-legged menace from uh, going ahead and adding clog. And they've, it's got set up for, for different sizes. So basically um, what you see here is you've got a foam and then there's the, the main turbine and it's got feet here in case you have a larger laptop. I've got a 15 inch uh, Asus Strix um and okay little one so anyways this one doesn't have lights or anything cool like that and it's got a separate power supply i'm going to crank it up that's 4200 revs and that's kind of loud but it's really not that loud when you contrast it to this thing's fans going overboard but when i'm just you know hanging out I can kind of run it at that speed when other people were in the room. So um, this was expensive. It wasn't cheap. It was $63, something like that. And I really wanted to take it back. I wanted to say this thing sucks and it was a bad idea. But like I said, I just did a, a test and it was pretty amazing. I, I did not expect it to do that. Now I'm the only one here, so I was able to crank up the fan. But I've been using uh, the virtual reality for exercise, so it's kind of nice to have it. The foam is, you know, standard foam, but it acts as a blockade. You could probably build something like this, but I'm pressed for time and don't have any power tools. Um, I got to give it a thumbs up. I really do. I mean, it, it's got different heights on the legs if I want it. I allowed it to take, it's got what I think are two intake fans. Let me go ahead and pull this off. Uh, there we go. So this is basically it right here. And like I said, when this thing cranks, I didn't see a lot of reviews on there and I wanted to go ahead, which is really loud when you don't have the PC on it, but when you do, and then of course it's got the different feet for the different size laptops. I'm pretty sure a 15 inch could fit on this and I am stunned at the performance difference, but it's forcing all the air up into here, which is going in through my bottom vents. Now I wanted to go with the other versions because they had cool lights and everything, but I was worried about them ejecting, or I was worried about my laptop ejecting um, out the back of its vents, which it has back here, and being sucked right back into the cooler, which I read is some of the problems. So all in all, I, I gotta say, if you're gonna spend that kind of cash, this isn't a bad answer. Hope that helps anyone. This is a custom. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button, and if you want to, subscribe. Take care, guys.